Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my next attempt at Chantilly's A Tale of Two Sisters. I had a lot of trouble streaming this before with my old computer reaching the end of its uh, effective service life. Uh, I tried replacing everything. I tried replacing the modem, the router. Now I replaced the entire computer. I was a little stream shy to, to attempt it again until I got a few other test streams in. Everything seemed to work fine. Now I'm giving it another shot. Chantilly's A Tale of Two Sisters from Carpe Fulger. Uh, you may remember them from the ones who made Reseteer and Item Shop's Tale. And I've always described this game as what if the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time came out for the SNES, but without sacrificing any of that ambition. It still has the, the SNES's limitations, but it really tries to go for that Ocarina of Time. Okay. My memories of that night are foggy. Sometimes I think to myself that it must have been a dream, but... Don't go out at night when the moon is red, or the witch will curse you forevermore. They told us that old fairy tale so often. And on the night of the red moon five years ago, we went outside. It felt like we were being called. We couldn't have walked that far, and yet... Nothing around us was familiar at all. I was so frightened, but my sister told me to be brave. And then, as I looked forward, I saw someone illuminated by the light of the red moon. I strained my eyes to see who it was, but the light of the moon shone ever brighter. When I awoke, we were in the forest that we'd played in so often as kids. Elisa, I could hear the voice of my sister calling me. I glanced in the direction of the sound, expecting to see my worried sister. Translucent wings on a tiny body. There was a fairy where my sister should have been. Could this be the witch's curse? Uh, good morning, Puzzle Better. And so begins the tale of two sisters. Chant is the fairy. So, so very tired. Come on, Chance, not again. We've only been walking for half a day. There's a few hours till sundown still. We can't stop now. Give me a little bitty break here, Elise. And no, that ain't a height joke either. Once we cross these fields, we should reach a town, I think. Just a bit further. I know you can do it. Man, is that any way to be talking to your older sister? Wait a second. What? Don't go down my hood. Hey, why not? This is comfy. Ain't like I'm heavy, either. But cleaning out the dust you leave behind takes forever. What the? My super potent fairy dust just is just sparkly dandruff to you? Come here, at least. My feet and your shins have a date to go on. <gasps> Shh. What's up? I think I just heard a woman scream. Did you? woman's voice. Oh no, I think I need help. That's the scream? Yeah, that's the sound of mortal terror, alright. We should go see what's wrong. 
Hey, it's been a while since we got into a fight, huh? You do remember how to fight, right? I know we're in a hurry, but let's do a quick recap. Okay, first off, press button one to swing your sword. Yeah, and button two to jump. That's the way. Hit button four to lock a nose camera to an enemy. That lets you keep an eye on the enemy at all times. All right, now try moving around a bit. Hit the camera button again to switch to an enemy. Hold down to break the lock. Huh? You could also swing the camera around using the shoulder buttons or the right joystick. Jump step. All right, enough yapping. Let's make slime puree in the warm-up. Hey, are you okay? Everything looks and sounds good. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, thank you. That was a bit of a pickle. Could you pickle a slime? Put a slime in a jar of vinegar? Would it pickle? Yeah, I hope you're grateful since we busted our rumps to save you. If you want to make it up to us, you could give us a reward. Chance. Oh, well, how about a dinner at my place, then? Oh, no, we couldn't possibly... Really, it's fine. I'd love the company, to be honest. You heard the lady. It's perfectly fine. So let's go. Miss Ira, nice to meet you. Cool. Well, I'm Chant, and this is my baby sister, Elisa. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Ira. Right. Well, I'm hungry. Let's introduce Maureen. Oh yeah, we didn't use any magic in that fight, did we? If you don't grab some magic stones, I can't use them to blow stuff up. Well, let me explain about magic. It's kind of complicated. First, you need to grab that stone, get close, and hit the attack button. That's it. Now press button three. That was fire magic I just used. What magic I can use depends on the color of the stones you grab. What some spells can lock onto and chase enemies will make use of that. Now get this, I can use multiple stones at once. Grab all the stones on the ground here. Now hold the magic button down, and then release it. Kaboom, just like that, you can use multiple stones together for bigger spells. But I can only use two at once right now. Hey, it's been a while. We all slip a bit every now and then. Don't worry, I'll get back to it eventually. Once I do, I can use a bunch of stones together to do stuff that'll really knock your socks off. And if you hold the button a long time, the spell will cancel. Keep that in mind. Well, that's all I have to say about magic. What we really need now is practice, so let's smash these critters on the way to town. Alright, tutorial's over. Thankfully, I've had to go through that tutorial so many times just because my stream wasn't working. Now, the magic system is a little bit more in-depth. Uh, like there are different stones with different colors, which represent different elements. And then the first stone in the chain determines what kind of spell it is, and then there's modifiers to it, like uh, green is electricity. If I cast green, I'll cast an electric spell. If I cast green and red, red is fire. Red is usually a power enhancement. So I have a much more powerful green spell. If you just whack trees and plants, they tend to drop yellow gems. And yellow is earth. Now, it just occurred to me when we were watching the tutorial one more time, this bond between... 
treasure. Uh, Chance and Elise, like these two sisters, one of them horribly cursed. It reminds me of the same setup behind Full Metal Alchemist. You get a pair of brothers, and then one of them is cursed, and they work together to try and find some remedy for their situation. Complete the magic alchemy system. Now, since this is from the same company that also made Reseteer and Item Shop's Tale, now that woman we rescued runs an item shop, and she looks very similar to the main character in Reseteer. Chapter 1, The Fairy and the Sword Maiden. Better than the brothers in Trigun. <laughs> ah, come in, no need to be shy. Thanks for letting us come in, Ira. So you run an item shop of some sort here. Pretty nice place, thank you. You two must be very hungry. Let me get started on dinner right away. Here we go. There's like cheese, salads, maybe steak, soup, macaroons, tea. I'm not sure what those colored bits are inside the salad. Some bread. Oh, the granola. Look at the spread. Miss Ira, are you sure this isn't any trouble? Don't be silly, you did save me after all. Besides, it's far more fun to eat with company. Well, you heard the lady, let's dig in. All right, cheers. I see, so you're searching for a witch, and your search led you to this town. That's right, I was wondering if you had any idea about where we could look for her. Well, this town is surrounded by old ruins and the like, but I can't think of any particular place such a person would hide. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, really. Oh, sweet heaven above, this is wonderful. The tongue-trembling flash of sweetness when you bite into it, the soft, gelatinous texture. It's so delicious, I think I'm going to die from taste overload. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. It's my special slime liver marinade, you see. Slime what's it? Oh, don't worry, I leached all the poison out ahead of me. What? Now, now, don't leave any leftovers. That was so good. Could have done without knowing what it was in it, though. Either way, Ira's amazing. She helped us out a lot. She reminds me a bit of you, Elise. Just more grown-up like. Really? But I had enough flatter and time to get down to some real detail. Okay? Someone around here has got to know something, maybe. Hopefully. Let's grill the locals for info. And when I said this reminded me of Ocarina of Time, but with the SNES's limitations. Yeah, this looks a lot like Hyrule Castle Town, just on a smaller scale. And the people aren't 3D, but 2D sprites in a 3D world. Oh, a fairy. How unusual. Hello, little misadventure. A witch? I think I heard a rumor about that once. We used to have a lot of adventurers in town asking about things. I think they've mostly given up because we don't get many in town anymore. Hello, I've not seen you around here before. Are you an adventurer? A fairy, interesting. You've got something rare there. Is that a fairy you have with you, Missy? Interesting. You used to see them a lot way back when, but now you never see them now. Looking for a witch, you say? All the memories failing me, I'm afraid. I can't really remember. Wow, a fairy. She looks like a bug. Let me touch your fairy. I've been so forgetful lately. 
you're an adventurer too. I guess we're in the same line of work. Not much of a town, but try to enjoy yourself. Welcome back. Did you discover anything? All that wandering around was about as useful as a fish in the desert. Nobody knew anything. Oh dear, I was afraid that might happen. But while you were out, I had an idea. Why not ask the city's fortune teller to help? She's quite famous for the accuracy of her fortunes. People come from far and wide just to consult her. Oh, a fortune teller. Well, heck, let's go right now. Well, it's getting very late. I have a spare room on the second floor. Why not sleep there tonight? Oh, we can't impose like that, really, I insist. Besides, the room will just sit empty otherwise. It does have a bed, right? Of course. Score! At least don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, a real bed. It's been how long now? Well, you two get off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning! <sighs> so sleepy. Good morning, you two. Did you sleep well? It's been ages since I slept that well. Thank you so much. Hmm. I'm glad you got some rest. No chance. What did you have planned for today? Uh, going to talk to the fortune teller. Very good. The fortune teller's place is straight across the square from my store. Good luck, you two. So this is the fortune teller Ira told us about, right? Well, time's a waste. Come on. Uh, chance, look at the door. But currently out? What? She's off frogging the tulips while her customers are waiting. Well, it says currently out of the Terran ruins for regions. Genius fortune teller Elma. Uh, nuts sitting here like a pair of chumps. Come on, Elise. We're heading over to these Terran whatevers. Terran very many items or powers or abilities just yet, but this is a very small game in scope. And just like in the original Legend of Zelda, how there was always a secret, just about on every screen there was something you could bomb or burn and find a secret entrance. Same thing here. I just beat all the enemies in the room and open the way to the next door. But now this metal slime has spawned that can do zero damage to us. Yeah, I can't even crit. It's immune to earth magic. I can't do anything to beat it yet. I need to become a little bit stronger, and then that will that is a secret waiting to happen.
so many coins left behind. Now the coins will fade over time, but the little magic drop will at least until I leave this one. Now there's at least two secrets I remember on this screen from the original time I played this game many years ago. Now there is no up or down camera. I can't look down into this hole. I just have to look from the side. A lot of the secrets are just based on how the camera is able or unable to move. Here's one secret treasure chest. Souvenir charm. Now there's a river here, right in the middle of the map. It won't be long before I gain access to a fishing rod where I can start fishing in strange places, like bottomless pits, lot even lava pools. And coming back here to find whatever's in there. I forget what's in there. I just know there's something there. Magic, but I don't have access to that until Chant learns how to use three gems at once. and the I-beam hits me. It's my own fault, really. So, having to play this game, the early segment of this game, a bunch of times, I'm just going to resort to using a light magic spell on them in their direction. real penalty to death of a time and you have to travel back. You don't lose money, there's no levels or experience. 
didn't on the first way in here. Oh, good. Stalthos. Stalfos cannot be killed by regular means, you have to finish them off with a spell. And that's why they included so many of these little lemon drops. Just to make sure you get the hands that help. There's plenty of magic to be around, don't hesitate in using it. in this room that I remember. This is a good example of what kind of secrets you can expect later in the game. Sometimes they're just stand in a specific spot, destroy a certain thing. There, there's a barrel on the other end of the room. Magical staff. Let's go to equipment. I have souvenir charm. Magical defense. Nice. Focus staff. Magic goes from 5 to 25. spell channel button there. Long enough, it'll drop all of the stones that are in the line. So if I don't like the natural order of things that I picked up... Yeah, because the gem order matters a lot when you're casting spells. I can drop them and reorder them. It's tough to do in the middle of combat.
to 9 damage. I'm just going out only does 3 now that I have the, uh, now that I'm wearing that damage. I should have put it on a long time ago. First death. I mean, I am not a master of this game. Just like I'm not really a master of Zelda 1. I'm not going to be able to beat that game without... You know, a few deaths here and there. So hopefully, hopefully that will add to the tension. This is the makers of Reseteer showing themselves. This ceremony, this is basically buying a heart container. Because she runs an item shop and she has to deal with supply and demand, the more I buy, the more expensive it's going to get, the more expensive the next and the next and the next heart container is going to be. For now it's 1,000. Now it's 2,000. Just like if I bought this leather glove that increases my physical attack. Attack up, you can multi-equip. I could just, I could wear like three pairs of leather gloves. Weird, but it works. But it's gonna cost 5,000 the first time, 10,000 the next time. And the same thing with this hawk statue piece of treasure. I can't do anything but sell it. Although if I had two or three of them, I could sell the first one for 4000 the next one for maybe 3500 the next one for three. So the more treasure you sell her, the less valuable it gets. Uh, here. I can continue the story. Or I could practice these other stages, these other screens for speedrunning. And if I do a good enough time, I might get some bonus tracks. I really want to find enough cash so that I can purchase those leather gloves because they'll increase my strength. And then with the strength, I'll be able to beat that metal slime. And here the stage says clear because I found that treasure from shooting the barrel across the room. So you know when there's treasure, you know when you found all the treasure. It it doesn't just encourage you, it rewards you for going back. It rewards backtrack. Maybe if I could increase my strength, those things would die in less than two combos. I 
I didn't actually have to do that the way it was already open. I could have just run straight through. But then I wouldn't get any treasure or experience. So, no, there is no experience. I wouldn't get any treasure. Any coins. Or magic. Ooh, nice. Nicely timed trick. Looks like I could drop a statue. Alright, between this statue and the hawk statue, I could go back to the item shop, buy some leather gloves, and then I should be able to cut my way through this path a lot easier. Secret. Just smacking a pillar. I don't know how I was supposed to know that, but it just looks suspicious, and the, the classic Zelda gamer in me thought it was good. See what's inside. A shield! Great, I don't have to buy the shield. It saves me 500. Or I could double the shield. I could buy the shield anyway and dual wield the shield. Any game that lets me dual wield shields. And there is not many. So if anybody's watching this pod, if anybody's live in the chat, if you can think of a game that lets you dual wield shields, please let me know. It might be my next game then. Earth gems. Always wanted to do this. Alright, 
that was ridiculous but fun. Juke these things. Let them fire off that red mist. Back when Switch friend Hungry Gorio was doing Meat Stick Mondays, I recommended this game because it has a meat stick. Super spooky, yes. But in the next room, I think I'm gonna fight the boss. And the next room, the music gets a lot more exciting. Less spooky. Minis, the 3D model making, like D&D minifig creator, was just starting out. I asked, I emailed them specifically to ask, hey, can you dual wield shields on your character? They said yes. So I became a backer. Elma, the fortune teller. So they've arrived. What's this chant? What's this little girl doing here? Maybe she's lost. We should help her. Good idea. Oi, little girly, this place is dangerous. You should head home. Impudent fools, you dare take such a tone with the sage of Earth. Of course, the centuries-old fortune teller looks like a little girl. The sage of whom what? But you're a tiny little girl. Silence, you're the smallest one here. Oh, you did not just go there for your information, even though I look this way now due to a curse. Uh huh. T 
Do you expect me to believe that? I don't think that's really very accurate. All right, that's it. Time to make with the schoolhouse discipline. Oh, fight you want, is it? Very well, then. This really was... Oh, Shepherd of Stone, Arbiter of the Law of Earth, grant the breath of life unto the event. Breath of life unto a stone, a gold. This really serves as a... Well, at least I made it to the golem. That means I can go to the golem screen and practice, practice, practice. And maybe buy some gloves. Unthankful statue? Being broken like this drives the value of the idol down even further. <laughs> change equipment at any time, so once I get to the boss, I could break out the magical defense, or the physical defense, the magic attack weapons. Now, I was saying that the, the Terran Golem boss, they actually serve as a difficulty check. They want to make sure that you have mastered the whole magical system before letting you advance. Because it's almost impossible to get up there and fight it close hand-to-hand. -hand. They really want you to learn to use magic. Now these, this gemstone system of magic, because it depends what order you use those items, it reminds me of the magic system behind uh, was that Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, where there was a whole card battling system. It's also real time. It's the order in which you pulled your cards, and you could stack the deck completely. There's that metal slime. Alright, my regular attacks do nothing, but the jumping attack. Jumping attack can hurt. Treasure chest. Pheromone. Another 10 hit points. that stage, I've cleared this stage. I don't know how what the secret would be behind this stage. Maybe destroy all the torches. Usually in Zelda games you have to light all the torches. Ooh, they 
die in one hit now. To the spooky music. GG's. Is that a good game, or you gotta go? From the, from the boss, sorry. Wait, but I, I died to the boss. I lost. You're congratulating the boss? Huh? Destroying all the torches. That was the, the trick. Gloves. Free gloves. Okay. I could sacrifice some defense and just wear two pairs of gloves. entertaining and a good try. <laughs> stick would still be here. Was it in this one?
don't need attack so much as physical defense and magic. Ice with a string on a bar. Okay, two, two waters better. I come in here, it comes fully loaded with the blue. Wow, 200 damage. Pheromon. Well, not enough to buy anything. Golden pedestal, five thousand. Still not enough for my family. Now, I remember something from one of the many times I have played this a couple weeks ago, going through the tutorial over again. Oh, did I miss it? Nope, I did not get them. But when I come in there, I need to go fully loaded with blue. Fully loaded with blue magic. Now I'm 
going back to the tutorial area to look for secrets because I remember stumbling upon a secret one of those times a couple weeks ago when I was going through trying to play this game, trying to stream. There was a secret with a bunch of those invulnerable metal slimes. But now that I have a much stronger attack, I should be able to well, destroy them. I wonder if I power up my magic attack enough. Will it work, Will it work against the metal slimes? That was 5,000 gold when I last sold one to Ira. It'll be worth a little bit less. But still valuable. in the cave, I... I killed everything in the cave. I destroyed all the monsters, and that didn't trigger any treasure chest. There must be something else. Maybe destroy the torches again. Very zombie That was 5,000 last time, it's 4850 now. Now I could go directly to the golem and practice, practice, practice. Uh, maybe next time. If I want to actually advance the story, I have to go through story mode. And that means walking there. See if I can stack all blue magic. If they would just drop blue stones. Nearly 
only three blues this whole time. Another statue. Oh. I wonder how long I can melt that. Okay, six blue magics. Now I should just make a beeline straight for the golem. Double up on magic. Buy a second magic wand. Two real magic wands. Sell that scale by a second magic wand and then dual wield magic wands on them.
Focus staff, six blue magic. Yeah, I'm too close. I'm hitting him in the center instead of his shoulder. It's not like Earth magic being used against it. And it can't hit me anymore. No, I can just... Okay, it can still jump. Ooh, it does not like Earth. Or it does not like lightning either. Got him! I think that's enough for today. 
I'm surprised you can be so calm after we busted your toy up that badly. Silent, you nasty little fairy. Down for... Of course, there's a second phase. Down for round two. Come on, I'll drink your tears and they'll be delicious. This isn't over. Ran away like a scared little forest elf. I wonder who she was then. I'll admit, for someone her age, she was crazy talented at that. Wait, you were actually paying attention to what she was doing and not just badmouthing her? Can I say GG's now? Yes. <laughs> Well, joy, I'm not all hot air, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Could she be the witch? Oh, the witch from five years ago? That oh, can't be. There was something... Oh, well, the fortune teller doesn't seem to be here, though. Nothing to do but head back to town, I guess. Oh, I don't get to loot the body. Oh, the door's open. Hey, it is. I wonder if the I wonder if the fortune teller is in. Oh, that would have been easier if we had just waited. Oh well, hello. Chapter two. Welcome to my mansion of. Wait, what? Uh, visitors, welcome to my mansion of fortune teller. What the crap is this? <laughs> You're that murderous shrimp from the ruins. Get her, Elise. A chant? What are... Oh, never mind her. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. You're the fortune teller. What do you mean, never mind? She... Indeed, I am Elma, the ever-wise and courageous fortune teller. Why do I feel like I just missed the boat? Hang on, shrimp. Why are you here? Chant, stop making such a fuss. What are you going on about? I, but that is swords, golem, shrimpy jerk. Stop it, please. I'm sorry. So I'm assuming you're here for a fortune. Yes, yes we are. So that's the story. We need to find the witch, and we heard she lives in the ruins near this city. I see. I believe I understand the situation. We must venture into the Egean ruins. That's it. Well, that's certainly simple. Aren't you supposed to do wavy mystical stuff with a crystal ball or something? Well, please, the reason I'm so trusted is due to the fact that I don't rely on such cheap theatrics. Chant, you're being rude again. So this witch is in the Ignan ruins? Well, ultimately, the interpretation of the fortune is up to you. It could mean whatever you want it to mean. At the very least, however, you'll find going there to be worth your time, I think. Yeah, well, that's not suspicious in the slightest. Well, we don't have any other leads, though, do we? The Ignan Ruins, thank you very much. Ooh. Memory loss, a side effect of fairy dust. I was afraid of this. Pushing her further might be too dangerous, but, well, I don't have the luxury of hesitation anymore. Well. Okay, what's that about fairy dust causing memory loss? Is this the video game version of Memento? Hey, Elise, you're sure that fortune teller didn't seem, I don't know, familiar somehow? You've been going on and on about that, James. I really... You okay, Elise? I'll tell you the truth, I've been feeling a little lightheaded since we left the room. And you wait until now to say something? We can take a break, you know. No, really, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Hey, I'm your big sister. We're supposed to be all worried about you shrimpy youngins and stuff. Thanks, Chance. Alright, time to hit up these ignorant ruins. Miss Pink Hair was going on. <laughs> Sorry, wrong building. Wait now, wait a minute. You came in looking like you had some business here. No, we just wanted to peek inside because it looks like a chapel from the outside, but we were wrong, so bye. But this is a chapel. Oh, how about that? 
so yeah, we were going to be in town for a while. We thought we should meet the local clergyman. Don't suppose you know where he is? Right before your eyes. I'm the shepherd for this little flock. Nice to meet you. Yeah, sorry, we're in the wrong place. Hang on, stay a while and listen. <laughs> He's a lot more buff than Deckard Cain ever was. Okay, hop, cut the horse poop. What kind of town would have a bald, burly bodybuilder like you for a holy father? Chant, I don't think honesty is the best policy here. Don't worry, little miss. That's how most people react, actually. But I'm really an honest to goodness priest before heaven, I promise. Well, the get-up is right, so I guess I can buy you a priest. Muscles and baldness aside. I'm Chant. I know I look like a fairy, but I'm actually a human girl. This polite little warrior next to me is my sister, Elise. A pleasure, Mr. Priest. Sounds like you have quite a story to tell. Stop by any time you need help. You do seem like a pretty nice guy, after all, so what do you do here exactly? Aside from the usual guarding souls against evil and whatnot, I provide adventurers with information. I've got a pretty good idea where all the hidden chests are. Out in the ruins and forests and such surrounding the town. You do, and you tell us? Not for free, you'll need to donate to the church. The road out of hell is paved with gold. Is that the idea? You've got a sharp mind, girl. It isn't gold I ask for, though. Not money? What would you donate then? What I ask is that you give of yourself. I mean your vitality, your ability to take care. Okay, so I have to sacrifice my hit points in order to get a hint. You need to donate zero. Two max hit points for a hint on the treasure chest. Not ready to ask for hints just yet. So are any of the other buildings open now? Okay, let's hit those big pigmen ruins. Familiar forest. as an enemy. Well, I guess everyone in town was marked as an enemy. On the map. Alright. Are This is another good reason I've always compared to Zelda. The forest map. This looks right out of Pokery Forest. Oops. Oh, thank goodness there's no fall down there, though.
Salesman in the familiar forest is selling a remedy. Oh, and those boulders are part of the secret. Do I get bombs later? Give me a green magic show. Oh boy. on Death Mountain. Hang on. Oh, 
cost? When did I gain that third slot? I think I can buy another pair of gloves. off the side. And I can pick up a little more magic back up the path that I spent on those weird mushroom plants. or a treasure chest for making it up the mountain without getting hit by the giant rocks. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh. I don't think I'm going to go toe to toe against that one. Looks just like the bomb from Final Fantasy. I wonder. Just have to double check. Okay, there's no island right down here. Next time I see one of those bombs, water magic. Like now! Pedestal, golden scales. If I can sell that, that merchant out in the woods had a blue stone that would give me some sort of water elemental strength out of my hand. That might be good for this dungeon. Ooh, they're, get, they're getting tougher. The yellow ones are destroying one hit, so they're taking more.
see what happens if I triple set, triple loop. Oh, crap. I can't triple loop. Enjoying the rhythm. Double up on magic defense beat that without getting close enough to detonates. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, it dropped some food.
sell some things. Oh, welcome back. Did you meet with the fortune teller? Yeah, but are you sure she's really that reliable or trustworthy or non murder Never, Never mind. I've never personally had my fortune told by her. Uh-huh. But she really is famous for her accuracy. My next-door neighbor found her wedding ring thanks to that. Well, we don't have any other good leads, so let's head to the evening rooms. Must you go? I was thinking of making dinner, actually. <laughs> Deep Fried Spectre Ectoplasm. It's a brand new recipe. In the previous game, in Reseteer, you were always making like food items from monsters whenever you were accompanying a hero into a dungeon. I, how about next time? See ya. We'll be going now, Ira. Farewell. Don't wait up. All right, be careful. It would have been so tasty, too. Oh, she can sell a water crystal, too. Theremin G? Infused with gold is even stronger than basic theremin. Hmm. Water crystal, 20,000. Grants your swings the chill of ice. Hold for power attack. Second one, but it doesn't say I could multi equip. Well, let's buy one fairy. Whirling Blade from, you know, that other fantasy action adventure game. Seagulls. Okay, better not taunt the seagulls, in case this really is too much more like a Zelda game. Now's a good place to call it. This is a good introduction. Next time, I can jump right into it. Secret hunting and fighting. I think I've hit the meat of the game by now. Thank you, everyone, that stopped by. Thank you for everyone watching the VOD. Thank you, Puzzle Writer. And time to raid and see who else is streaming. Devil's Crash has been so kind to show up and talk and chat. Let's raid him. Alright. Thank you all for coming, and I'll see you next time for more Chant Lee's Tale of Two Sisters. I was just showing off.